Welcome everyone uh, to uh, this uh, um, uh, the, the MSF Scientific Day. This is the first day. Um, uh, it's on uh, innovation and uh, technology in humanitarian action. It's the first time that uh, we organize this particular day. Well, there has been there has been days that the scientific um, uh, uh, MS, the scientific days have been in existence for some time already, and mostly um, uh, they have been talking about medical issues, medical innovations, um, and new medical approaches. And um, this year is the first time that we have uh, a, a, um, a day on um, uh, technology and on innovation um, uh, in order to be able to, in humanitarian action. And the reason why 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 we decided um, or why the organizers decided in order uh, to to add this day to the event, it's because <laughs> innovation, adaptation, uh, technology. Um, is is inextricably linked to humanitarian action, and without um, our ability to be able to use new technology um, and, and apply it uh, to the best of our abilities in order to be able to assist populations, um, uh, a humanitarian action would not be nearly as effective. I came across when I came I came here on the subway and I came across um, a poster for a new um, uh, for a film Birdman, and uh, and it said. The virtue of ignorance. That was the subtitle of the of the film, and and um, and I think you know, in in a way, that's 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 a very appropriate sort of mindset for um, uh, innovation in humanitarian action. To recognize the, uh, the the things that you don't know, and and to wonder about what would happen if you would apply, you know, an, an outlandish technology that we use in everyday life in 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 our home societies. Uh, in our private uh, private lives, and and how how would it work if you apply that in um, uh, in a humanitarian se setting, uh, such as you know we'll be talking about a tablet that has been designed uh, to uh, function in an Ebola setting, uh, a tablet that we use in every single day uh, every everyday life. I'm, I'm pretty sure that everybody will have a tablet here, but how do you make it make it happen, make it work for you? In, in a situation where you can't speak to patients, where 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 you are um, dressed up in in a in a in a in a sweatsuit, uh, in a suit, uh, and uh, where you have to uh, have a limited time in order to be able to uh, look for your patients, and, and and a tablet can it help in order to be able to reduce the time uh, by which uh, you are looking for patients and uh, to reduce the time um, by by which you enter the data that you eventually need to have in order to be able to make sure that you have the best possible treatment for that patient. And yes, that is possible. Um, uh, so we'll be hearing about such an innovation, but that's basically the 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 the, the essence of what 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 innovation means to humanitarian action. Apply a, a, a new tool or an existing tool uh, in order to make it work for the patients that we're trying to reach and that we're trying to assist. Um, in MSF, you know, innovation and adaptation has been at the core of our action already for a long time. So. We're not talking about a new fashion. We're not talking, even if it's a new day. You know, it's it's not it's not something new to humanitarian action. It's not something new to uh, to MSF. The the design of logistics kits, you know, 25 years ago was a massive innovation that really helped to propel uh, our ability to scale up uh, humanitarian assistance um, um, uh, in, in 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 refugee settings or 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 in conflict settings. Um, the, the 10 priorities for refugee, um, uh, refugee camps uh, was an innovation in terms of you know, prioritization uh, of, of approaches uh, within, within such settings. You know, these are innovations that have been within MSF for a long period of time. I can remember Kala Azar and the work that we've done in order to be able to design new uh, diagnostic tools uh, in order to be able to uh, 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 diagnose and treat patients in, um, in, in remote settings such as South Sudan. So this is something that has been with MSF for a long period. It has been part of our DNA. It's part of our mindset, and and it's uh, and it's part of the reason why we want to have people in the field coming afresh into the organization in order to be able to wonder why it is that we are failing to reach our patients in the best possible manner. Whereas there are technologies uh, available in in in, uh, in other settings that we could use uh, to the benefits of our patients. So it is inextricably linked to MSF and it's inextricably linked to humanitarian action. Yet, I think we have to recognize too that uh, we're not nearly, you know, we're not nearly achieving what we can achieve. Um, uh, there's there's so mu much technology out there that that is that is being made available in order in order to improve people's lives, uh, right here in the UK or 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 in India or. 
um, uh, or, or, or in Holland, but that we're not uh, making available to our patients. So this is, I think, the purpose of today, to showcase, to demonstrate, to uh, let one another know that there are technologies out there that we can use uh, in order to improve the lives of our patients. And um, it's the first time that we're holding this event. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll make it a massive success, as successful as the scientific day uh, um, has been um, uh, medically, uh, medically speaking over the last, uh, over the last years. Um, uh, and, and, and I ask you all to participate online because we have a, a massive sort of uh, presence online. Hopefully they will engage significantly with us. Um, uh, but I ask you to participate and make this day a success uh, through your presence and through your engagement.